I know not everybody is a big fan of having GIFs in Power BI reports because, well, who wants to have a moving image that just distracts from the main visuals in the report? However, when used in the right places in the right way, it can actually draw the attention to the right places and take your reports to the next level. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this example over here, where I have a GIF for the upward and downward arrows to show a trend. And this GIF only loops once and only gets triggered when the user interacts with the report. Step one is to, well, find a GIF image or create one, which we can do in PowerPoint. You can create your own GIF image. Now let's do this quickly. You can go here to the top, insert, and then we can go for shape. Now here, let's go for an arrow. Then also, of course, choose a nice color. Now in this case, I would like to have red, or maybe you want to, well, have a gradient fill. At the moment, it's just a downward pointing arrow. Now we have to introduce movement. Let's go to animations, open the animation pane. Then we have to select the arrow itself. And now we can add animations that you see here at the top. Now that starting point, I actually want to have all the way at the top so that the arrow starts basically above the page. And then here for the ending point, well, now it ends a little bit too far. So I'm going to drag it up. Test the animation by clicking here on play from. All right, and there we have our arrow. Now, the same thing we have to do for the upward arrow. So let me do that quickly. Okay, and now we have already a GIF, but the problem is that it goes on an endless loop. And here in PowerPoint, I believe there's no option to say just loop once and then stop. So we need a different tool. And this one is called sgif. So if you go to sgif.com slash loop count, then you can choose over here your GIF. Then you should be able to see the GIF in action. And you see it just keeps on looping, looping, looping. However, now we can set that loop count to one. There we have it, just looping one time. And that gives us the GIF that we can use in Power BI. Back to our report. And then over here, select the visualization. And then we can go here to cards. And if we scroll down, there we have the option to add an image. Now let's first go here for image. And there they are, we have our arrows for all of the cards. However, they are all going down, which is of course not true for all of them. Well, for the second one, by coincidence it is, but for the first one, it actually should go up. Now that is, well, because we are not checking the growth rate. We just need to have a measure that first checks the growth rate and then returns, well, either the upward arrow or the downward arrow. And that also means that we have to go for that second option with the image URL, because only that we can refer to in a measure. Let's go here to formatting. You have to go for image URL because then we can use a measure to dynamically switch between an upward and a downward arrow. And now we have here for the first one, an upward arrow showing because we have well, a positive value there for the month over month growth rate. 